Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> um, uh, quick reminders, I have never played a Fallout game. I have never played this Fallout game. Please, please, please. No spoilers. Please, please, please. No backseating. Um, if I, so to be clear, like sometimes to make sure that y'all know what I'm thinking, so I'm not just sitting here staring blankly, I'll sort of think aloud and be like, oh, I wonder what this does. The only time I would like you to backseat is if I explicitly say, hey, chat, how does this work? Or, hey, chat, where do I go? Like, let me make mistakes. I will probably blow up again through my own stupidity. Just a fair warning. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Rio. Thank you for the follow, Arctic. I've never played Fallout, so... <laughs> Yeah, Kaze, I, my first, my first job when I wanted to be was a teacher. And then I was like, hmm, I don't want to be destitute with a bachelor's degree. That feels bad. <laughs> Did you know you're immune to the explosion if you sprint over a mine? I'm gonna have to try that, really? Oh. Okay, so... Uh, last we left off, we came to Prim, I blew up some bad guys, uh, we made a robot the sheriff, which was amazing, and now we have to head to Nipton? Yeah. Uh, oh, we did stop by Sloan, because I just wanted to see what they were about, and they were like, hey, there's some death clause question mark? So you will die if you go north. And I was like, hmm, I like not being dead. So game is saying go to Nipton. So we're going to Nipton, which is south, which is this way. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> is that the sheriff? It's Sheriff Robot. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. You're not in the museum. That's annoying. Um, the trails, this is way too loud. Give me a minute. I'm going to make the audio less loud um uh, yeah okay hopefully that's better for y'all are you enjoying the game i am i it's not that i never wanted to play fallout because i thought it was bad i've just never been personally super into post-apocalypse as a genre or setting um but this is one of broford's favorite games and everyone in chat because Here's the thing. I talk about Bethesda all the time because I'm obsessed with the Elder Scrolls franchise. So everyone's like, if you're so obsessed with Elder Scrolls, why don't you play Fallout? It's the same publisher. Um, but I'm I'm really enjoying this game a lot so far. Um, I think it has... For a game from like 2009, question mark, it's aged very well. Um, the writing feels really good. The environments feel really good. I mean, I've said this all before. I really like it so far. Did I tell Broford to watch today's stream? <laughs> Guess who <you> forgot? <laughs> but I think he's I think he's out today. One so question about spoilers. What about alternate routes after the fact? Like you picked the robot sheriff, but could I say, oh, I did this instead in my playthrough or something? I think I will save that as a post-mortem for this playthrough, if that makes sense. Um, because I'd rather play the whole game once through, not knowing anything. And then I think it could be fun to talk about like, the different ways to resolve things, but I think I'd rather do that as like a whole stream, if that makes sense. Um, the hell is that? I don't like whatever the hell that is. Just gonna keep <gasps> jalapeno. I think it's interesting that jalapenos don't have rads. Postmortem, but I don't want to die. <laughs> Sorry, a postmortem as in. I'm targeting it from behind a rock? Nah, we're gonna just keep on creeping. Um... Uh, postmortem as in, like... A postmortem, if you don't know, when talking about, like, media... Um... Is when you're sort of... Why am I getting rats? Why am I getting rats? What is giving me rats? What the hell? This way? Is this way safe? I think this way is safe. Okay, weird. Um, a postmortem is when you're basically, um... Clara, mm -hmm. Clara Pees, I was joking about sprinting over mines. There's not even a sprint button in New Vegas. I'm going the wrong way. 
Oh, I have to follow the road. Hold on. I'm in the... <laughs> I'm gonna follow the road because I'm dying and I don't want to die. Um, I thought that fire hydrant was a person and it scared me. Sorry, if I could get a sentence together, that would be great. Sorry, very distracted today. Thank you for the head pats. A postmortem is when you are sort of analyzing something um, after it has been completed. So it's like the concept of... You know how in like crime dramas, they do a postmortem of a body, they are examining a corpse and dissecting it? In media terms, you're like dissecting and talking about something you consumed. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, no, I know, Martin, yeah. To be clear, this game was published by Bethesda, but it was developed by Obsidian. Um, but a lot of people have specifically requested I play this game, and I thought, well, this game has spooky bugs, and it is spooky month, and I don't like big bugs, so. I don't mind bugs in general, but when they're ginormous and irradiated i'm not really a fan you know i'm like not it's not really a vibe don't you hate it when you're walking through the desert and all of a sudden the air is spicy <laughs> oh god so you're saying that bugs bug you when they're ginormous or like flying at me yes like there's a spider that lives in the kitchen now i just let it live there it's not bothering no one are you gonna fight me? I think they're gonna fight me if they're red, right? Like, there's no... being friends in this situation, is there? If I... Yeah, if the name is Red Shooting Head, right? I'm good. Cool. Let's go for a knocking shot. Ooh, nice. Where's your buddy? Did your buddy even notice? Oh, your buddy noticed. All right, well, let's grab... Um... Dynamite. And a varmint rifle. Ow, 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 stop that. Ooh, those stats are not good. All right, all right, well... Oh, hey, that's better. I've gained karma. Wow, who knew that murder would make me a good dog? Okay, um, I'll take it, sure. Uh... Thanks, ooh! <gasps> I leveled up! Ooh, ooh! Oh god, uh... I wanna level up my medicine so I can fix up that dog. I love how murder gives you good karma in this game. <laughs> Who's a good criminal killing dog? <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Um, so I want to get my medicine up because there's that uh, mole rat dog thing in Sloan that I would like to help, but I also need to get explosives up so I can save good springs. Snuffles. Yeah, I want to help Snuffles. I forget what that medicine check is, though. Take educated at level four. At least look at the perk. Educated level four. Got it. Um, I have to do skill point stuff first. I think it's probably 25. I'm going to do medicine 25. I'm going to get my guns up a little bit more because I want to be able to survive. Um, For anyone who's wondering, I am going for a build that's more like charisma sneak than like super combat focused. Oh, medicine of 30. That'll do it. <laughs> um, oh, I should get my barter up so I oh, no, my barter's up pretty good. Uh I guess I'll put some in explosives. No, I don't know what to do now. I have four more points. Where should I put them? Words can hurt more than weapons. Mostly I just want to get as much of the story as possible. Oh, speech. I should just keep going with speech. Yeah, let's keep going with speech. I'm gonna just do that. I'm not worried about an optimized build at all. Um, education? This is not alphabetized. E education. Doesn't look like it's an option for me. 
anyway. Uh, I'm gonna look real quick. I think I know what I want, but I do want to see if I can find it. Uh, educated. With the educated perk, you gain two more skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is best. Oh. Oh, shoot. This takes. This has no downsides. Comprehension. You gain double the bonus from reading mag. I think I want to. I think I want to grab. This seems good. Yeah. I don't think there's a downside to that. I'm going to take that. I'm a smart bean. <laughs> and we're going to keep on trucking. Oh, wait. What's over here? Just houses? A wall. Nevada Highway Patrol Station. Well, that's very nice. Oh, 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 what the hell? What the hell? Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, these people are mad at me. All right. Well. Oh, hey, I got him. Am I close enough to get you in the noggin? No. Uh. Where's your buddy? Uh. <laughs> Wasn't there another guy? Where'd you go? Candy, hello. Ooh. Prickly honey mesquite. Oh, you're hiding? You shouldn't have come for me, bud. This didn't have to go this way. You just you just didn't have to do any of this, you little bing dong. I got room. All right, let me reload my armor. Oh my god, reload my armor. Reload my gun. Yeah, flip. Do a barrel roll. All right. Uh. Well, now I gotta know what else the heck is in here, cause I can't abide by guys trying to murk me. You know what I mean? I gotta teach them a lesson. Let me save because I don't want my file to corrupt. Oh, his morale broke. That's fun. Try me, ma'am. Ooh, that's right. <laughs> um. Gross. Why are you living with bugs? Why are you living with bugs? Uh... Just take a bunch of junk and sell it. Bobby pin. I'll take another outfit. I'll take a whiskey. Earnings clipboard. Open desk. Let's see. Bottles, bottles, junk, desk. Ooh, bottle cap. Um. There's someone behind this door. Oh, there's more than one someone behind this door. Oh, there's a lot of someones. All right, well. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a genius. Anyone pooping? There's nothing in here? Ooh. Never mind. Got some. <laughs> God dang it! This is why you check behind doors. Oh, wait. Uh. That's why it was locked, because they were cowards, and they locked a bug in there. I didn't expect there to be a bug in here. All right, whatever's next is in behind this door for sure. Mantis Joe, no! 
Well, then maybe they should have tied him up or something. Ew, are they breeding mantises here? Why do they just have mantises in cages? Why? What are you doing, you freaks? I don't understand. Let me get better at my shooting. Oh, ah, dang it. Eh. I love how you already unlocked and opened the door before asking if someone was pooping. That's not my business. All right, um. Cool, I'll take the flamer fuel, activate reloading bench. Oh, okay. You can break stuff down. Okie dokie. I see. Ooh, Hydra. Sure. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Ew, there's another guy moving? I thought you were all dead. What the hell? Come here. Goodbye. Thank you for the stretchies. Oh, okay, you can't make ammo yet, but you can break down ammo. Dead prospector. Oh, that sucks. Fresh potato. Sure. Jack of hearts. Do I want... Oh, they don't have any weight, so I'll take them. Um, metal charmer outfit? Prickly pear fruit. Yeah, I'll take those. Why not? Um. Weird. Okie dokie. Well... I pff, guess those guys won't be a problem no more. This terminal don't do nothing. Okay, okay I'm gonna stretch. Wow. Y'all, if you've been gaming a lot today, stretch your fingos. Just real quick. <laughs> Rip Mantis Lisa! <laughs> Have fun at a Halloween party. That's so exciting. Are y'all dressing up for Halloween this year? What are you gonna do? Oh, you can collect cards to make your own deck and play Caravan. I don't want to play Caravan. I was actually talking to Broford about it because he was asking me how far I got in the game. And immediately he was like, no one knows Caravan. Don't play Caravan. I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> and yes, I named all the mantises. Well, if they didn't want to murder me, better way of putting it, if they didn't want to die, they shouldn't have attacked me. You know, I'm obvious. Uh, look. No, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with, um, Caravan. I don't usually play card games in my games games. I'm going to take a quick break, um, quick one minute ad break. I'm literally just going to be stretching my fingers during this so y'all won't be missing anything. I do that so that they don't run, run, run random pre-rolls on you. <laughs> Thank you, Kaze. I literally only do this to avoid random pre-rolls. I, I, it, at least I have control, you know? <laughs> Fancy soups, hello! The last few were locked in a cell and you shot them all captive. Uh, pff, details. Who needs them? <laughs> if they wanted to keep their pants, they shouldn't have attacked me. Simple. Clara's committing war crimes. Look. Is it a war crime if it's against a bug? They deserve to die. <laughs> Those mantises and bugs ate the prospector. Yeah. So I did nothing wrong. I am innocent of all charges. Dog can do no wrong. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okie dokie. Let's get the heck out of here. Um... So does the road split in two directions, or are they just... I think I can just keep going this way. Bat, hello! Mantises are obligate carnivores. You can't fault them for eating meat. I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Clara is the justice of the wasteland. Could you imagine this face rolling up and being like, I am justice. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god. Um, I want to take the ramp going this way. Oh god, dang it! What the hell's out there now? Ew! Why is it so big? Why is it ginormous? Get out of here. You suck. I hate it. Oh, you have a friend? Why? Ant egg, ant meat? Ew. Where's your buddy? Crawling around out there. <laughs> it's all spooky. Why does it sound all spooky? I don't like that it sounds all spooky. I don't like it. If you break their antenna, they go crazy and attack other bugs. Ooh, thank you for the tip. I will absolutely use that to my advantage. Hatch an egg, get pet ant. I don't want a pet ant. Why would I want that? I don't. Uh, those little buggos crawling around. Oh. All right, let's put that to the test. If I break your antenna. Oh, you're still gonna attack me? Oh, bad time to reload. Uh, okay, so good news, it does get frenzied. Bad news, if I'm the only thing near it, it's still gonna attack me. Don't love that. Caution. Why? Ew, what is that? Is that a giant dead scorpion? Oh, God. Oh, you friends. All right, all right, all right, all right. If I shoot that, will you fight your friends now? And not me? No? Okay. That's fine. That's great. I love this. I'm gonna leave you to eat that giant scorpion. Ew. Uh... <gasps> Goodbye. I don't like this. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Seeing the caution warning without seeing the enemies is terrifying. It is. I think the frenzy trick works best with silenced weapons and stealth. Yeah, that makes sense. If it already sees me, then there's not much I can do. Oh, that's a campfire. Mmm. Is that Nipton Road pit stop? What? There's enemy. Oh, those are enemy. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, 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 man. Oh, everyone is close. Oh, man, you got a lot of armor. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I can't sprint. Uh, pit boy. Cover. Okay, okay. I have two health. This is fine. This is good. Um, mm, this will be okay. Where is my stim pack? Okay. Ow, ow. Oh, God. Oh, there's so many of you. And there's so not many of me. Um. How are you not dead yet? I shot you in the head twice. What the hell? Oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. Like <laughs> no, I don't like that. What the hell? What the hell? Huh? 
What just exploded? Huh? In order to heal a crippled limb, you have three choices. Sleep in a bed, find a doctor, or use a stim pack. I have stim packs. Thank God for that. Um, I will also take damage resistance and a pepper. What the hell is going on? Some cars have nuclear engines? Are you joking me? Uh, where's your buddy? I guess they found out that I killed their friends in the pit stop and they're mad about it. All right, I have like no ammo though. All right, um, sure, I will take that. Um, that has no weight. Um, God, I did it, but like I used way too many stim packs for that. Gonna make you naky. Gonna make you naky. Gonna make you naky. Oh man, I'm almost out of inventory space again. Where are your friends? I killed some people over here. Right? Yeah. Um. Oh, let me... I can clear up some space if I do some weapon repair, right? So let's do that. Uh, maintain. Cool. Um, I will maintain this as well. Fixing things. Repair items in your inventory yourself. Well, that's fun. Oh, right, 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 right. Fallout, Fallout timeline's different where they went for... Uh, they went for... Bleh, 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 atomic over other things. Also, Bat and your boy, thank you for the follows. Um... All right, let me also upgrade my varmint rifle. Cool, okay. That saved me some space. God, what the hell was that all about? Candy, thank you for the follow. Y'all, I appreciate that so much. Um, ooh, free beds. Free stuff? Ooh. Rag mine? I don't want to have to carry that. Um. I can open a locked grenade box. How hard could it be? It's not that hard. I can do this. See? There we go. Um. Bed? Three, four, five, uh, oh, let's see. I don't want to carry grenades. I just want to sell them. Why is the sun like that? Let me also save because I just survived a rough fight. I got to get more stim packs though. Oh, the difference probably caused contributed to their reef restaurant resource woes. Nuclear power is efficient, but the upfront cost is huge. That makes sense. Oh, because the drugs wore off. Oh, do stim packs make you drugged? Oops, was I on a high and didn't know it? <laughs> I didn't realize that. I oops. You ever just become an accidental drug user, I guess? Um, oh, there's a scorpion out there. That's what the danger is. We're just gonna... Oh, the medex. Oh, okay. Got it. What happens if you take, like, a lot of drugs? Specifically in the game? <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> Clara, are you accidentally high again? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you get addicted? 
if you get addicted, do you get like permanent debuffs when you're not using the drugs? Oh, wow. That is metal. Okay, that's not good. Good to know. Oh, this doesn't look right. Hmm. Um, is your town supposed to be on fire? What is that in the distance? Is that a person? Hmm. Jackpot now, million Nipton. Trading post RV park camping. Just gonna get another save in real quick. I don't like the looks of any of this. Are you waving to me? All right, you're not gonna shoot me in the head. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Why is John Oliver screaming about the lottery? Um, are you a powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> uh, what sort of lottery did you win, buddy? What lottery? The lottery. That's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> you feeling all right? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah! Bye. Bye, Oliver. Oh, 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 oh. I can't let that live. Oh god, that thing has armor. Why does that thing... Am I just gonna let Oliver die? Something's gonna kill him. And if it's not that scorpion. Homeboy just ran into the desert. All right, well. What? Go to Nipton, they said. It's a nice, happy place, they said. No one told me Nipton has a habit of putting heads on pikes. What the? Okay, mm well, this is good. Um, this looks very safe and healthy. Uh, hmm. Hello? 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 Um... What on earth? Oh, is that? Hold the phone. Oh, this is not good. Isn't that Caesar's Legion? Oh, shoot. Isn't that the flag of... See, I remember seeing that in like a cutting... Mm hmm. Well, then why was Homeboy like on drugs? Nipton General Store. Will you murder me? Or can I sell stuff to you, boxcars? God damn it! I was nodding off until you barged in here, and I don't hurt when I sleep. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will you? Uh, what happened? The Legion happened. What the fuck? Uh, I was right. Like? God damn. Why are you here? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? <laughs> okay, buddy. The for second place was I got to live. But they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? I shouldn't have used- I have a medex, yeah! Then you're a fucking dream come- How many doses does he need? Okay, this is a question for chat. How many doses does he need of medex? Does he need three doses? He needs five? No, seriously, how many does he need? Wait, I can overdose? I don't want to overdose the poor guy. Hold on. I need, I need, I need a fair shake here. I don't want this man to die. I would like to help him live. He wants to OD? You're trying to help, he's still being mean. Look, I don't know if I would exactly be a walk in the park if my legs were shattered. Like, I don't blame him for that, right? 
he can't move. He's in pain. His home got ruined. He thinks he can't recover. I think he could. Best karma is five. He wants to OD to end it all. Okay, so... My, I'm guessing, I'm understanding. So my choice is three doses, he'll live. I'll get decent karma. Five doses, he'll die. I'll get a lot of karma. Selfishly, I do need someone to sell all my junk to. Um. Oh, he'll live no matter what? Oh, but no, you said he'll overdose. Wouldn't that be bad? Oh, he's not a merchant? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I still want to help him, though. Because I feel bad. Ah. Okay. Um. I'm indecisive. The thing is, medics is hard to find. My only fear is if I give it all to him, I might need more elsewhere. I did save earlier. Ooh. I'm gonna give him three, because I, I, I do need more of these. I have a feeling I will need more of these. Three doses? That's almost enough for a party. How did you survive? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. Oh, is this some Legion tomfoolery? It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves. A nice score. Oh, so like everyone here sucks. The powder gangers were like, we're going to prostitute people. And then Caesar's Legion. These are just different degrees of bad people. Cool. Love it. Great. All right. So what went wrong? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. Yeah. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. Cool. So what happened after everyone got lottery tickets? What do you think? He started drawing tickets, and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky because it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs and the winner they let go free. And I'm supposed to want to have a playthrough where I join Caesar's Legion? They're, they're, why? Everyone here sucks. Everyone here sucks so bad. So what happened to the mayor? Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. All right, so what about the people who were enslaved? Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged him off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. I, yeah, I can't just let this ha- I'm sorry, like, that's messed up. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. Foxfires, I just saved your legs. A little bit of, a little bit of appreciation would be nice. Like what? Bye. All right, well, I was really hoping I could sell all of my garbage here, but... Welcome to New Vegas. Everyone sucks. All right, what the hell is up here? Man, this is sad. This is like a pretty nice area and they borked it. Oven. Um... Mm 
save. Toilet, 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 toilet. Okay, well. Um. Okay. Hungry? Want a nice squirrel on a stick? Um, yeah, don't let me know. I will figure it out, and if I need help, I will certainly ask for it. Um... I'm guessing there's no merchant here. Just a shot in the dark guess. Um... For completion's sake, I will one day do a Legion run, but I'm in no rush. I'd rather just watch someone do it. I don't think I can myself. I don't want to go down there. Caesar's Legion is kind of nuts. Um... We're gonna go grab those people. Um, because I just can't... Partially because I would like to be able to use this as a trading post, and partially because that's just real ma messed up. I'm gonna stop by Good Springs and sell all my junk real quick. Uh, you're in no danger unless you force the issue. I just don't even want to deal with them. Like, they all suck. <laughs> I don't want to be associated with the Legion because they're all jerks. Where is Tracy? Tracy... I got stuff or Trudy. I'm you sorry, I forgot your name. That's rude. We have a really good rapport, so I want to sell all my junk. Um. Oh, Trudy doesn't have any caps. When does Trudy get more caps? Hold the phone. When is she supposed to get more of those? God, I have to sell my junk to someone. All right, where's what's his face? general store they spawn every three days got it where are you you looking to buy some supplies looking to sell everything i got how many ca okay you have 700 caps cool all right we're gonna sell this um i'll keep rounds because those don't have any weight to them sell everything I can don't want dynamite uh, I don't want grenades I don't want to use a lot of drugs so I'm gonna try to avoid that whenever possible Value, weight, addition. Uh, lightweight leather armor seems better? Question mark? So, yeah, because it's the DLC starting gear, right? Yeah, so I want to sell the regular leather armor. Um, Still good on caps. I don't want to use Psycho, so I'm going to sell it. I will keep the water. Oh. <gasps> Hello. 16 months of Clara Let's Go. Thank you so much for 16 months. Thank you for resubbing. I really appreciate it. Welcome in. Hello. Um, 
Beep 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 beep. Cool, I'm gonna sell all of that and then I would like to buy some stim packs if you got them. You don't, that's fine. Thanks, Thanks. Chet. Take it easy. <laughs> Thank you, Inglonius. Thank you very much. Brain cells, hello. All right, I can buy medical supplies from Doc, right? I'm gonna buy a few, because I'm going into a Caesar's Legion outpost. They're gonna mess me up. Oh, sell food, okay. I was holding on to it for like small HP bursts, but it's so limited that I think you make a good point. Doc! Where are you? There you are. How are you holding up? I am alive. Um. Need medical support. Sure. Uh, I'll just buy all of your stim packs. Oh, wait, I did my math wrong. Hold on. <laughs> sure. I thought it was for 12 stim packs, 108 caps. And I was like, oh, that's a deal. It's 108 per stim pack. God, those are expensive. All right. Um. Shoot. God, that's that's extremely expensive. Um, oh wait, let me do the medicine check with Doc first. I ain't got much, but it'll If you haven't attacked Caesar, they won't attack you yet. Oh god. You... I'm gonna buy two stim packs. Just because I don't wanna not have a lot of supplies. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, doctor's bags are extremely helpful, so that's all well and good. I want to go back to Nipton. Oh, you could sell the doctor's bags now. I'll just hold on to them. Um. All right, so we're going to go to Nipton and we're going to go around. You sell some of those pants? No, I sold them. Gotta sell them. Um, all right, cool. So we'll follow the road out of here, question mark. Yeah, we'll follow the road out of here. Man. Oof. Those are skulls. Thank you for the head pads. I'm gonna come back to this town. Welcome to Nevada. The Silver State. Um, okay, we're just gonna cross on over. Caesar's guys are, quote, honorable and won't attack first. Oh, well, that's good to know. But for the future, don't tell me how the game's gonna go. I'll find out for myself. I don't, look, if I end up buying stuff I don't need, that's fine. You know, I don't mind. Oh, they won't attack first here. Ah. <laughs> I really appreciate that, Jazz. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Hello. Fancy cars. Fancy cars. Oh, God. Viper gunslinger? That doesn't look like a gun, ma'am. Ow. Like that? Oh, is that an eyeball? Cool. Great. That was a whole eyeball. Where's your buddy? What the hell? Oh, you gotta be joking me. Your buddy's all the way up there? Are they blowing themselves up? I need to change my weapon. How am I supposed to shoot that? Are they coming down to me? I think I gotta go to them. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? Are they gonna be mad at me? I didn't do anything. I wasn't a part of this. Is that scripted? Or was that guy just real dumb and hurt those big horners? I think I'm okay. I just want to loot his body. The ladder. Got it. Yeah, I'm not walking over there. Um, I should probably put my body back together. Um... Stimpak will fix a broken limb, right? <laughs> Inglonius, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> what are you, Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> cool. Well, it's a good thing I bought a Stimpak. I am not here to mess with you guys. I'm just gonna keep on. Oh, god dang it. Are you joking? Nope, 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 nope. Buddy. Nope. God. <sighs> Couldn't you tip cows in Fallout 3? Could you? That would be actually really funny if you could. All right. Uh, sure, I'll take a submachine gun. Why not? I'm lucky that everyone out here is carrying anti-venom. Buddy, I just regrew that leg. <laughs> if you crouch next to a cow and press the action button, you can tip him over. But that's mean. Why would you do that? Please tip your cows. They're not paid an hourly wage. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I want to move back to my pistol. Leo. Yeah, if you take a nap, all your broken bones, bo broken bones just get popped back into place. This is why I'm telling y'all, sleep is important. Because <laughs> when you sleep, your body heals itself. And sometimes that means, you know, um, gluing a femur back together. Thank you for the hydrate. There's a bridge up there. I think this is where I need to be. Yeah, I gotta be going this way. Oh, I think the road goes around. Okay. There's a bird! Oh, oh. It's a crow. Oh, oh. I'm your friend now. Oh. Okay, goodbye. I was just having a quick conversation with my new friend. Uh, what the hell? Oh, it's a tumbleweed. God. The tumbleweed made me scared. <laughs> Searchlight? Novak. I do have to head to Novak. I don't know if... No, this is right. Okay. <laughs> Clara Crowford. Yeah, I can crow. I can do bur... Oh, what the hell? I can do bird noises. I can do pretty good bird calls. I can also do a pigeon sound. Those are the only animal limitations I can do. I could also obviously do dog noises, but that's like to be expected. Oh, it's friends? Are you friends? Are you friends? Traveling merchant. Oh, hello. Hey there. Need anything? Sure. Sure. Here's what I got. Um. Wow, they got a lot of stuff. Um. Let me see. You have 600 caps. Let me sell some junk. Oh, I don't have any submachine gun ammo. Oh, it uses the... Uh, nah, I'm gonna sell it. I don't use submachine guns much. Um, 
Selling all my food. Doop a deep bop, beep a deep, beep a deep bop, beep a doop bop. Um. Um. Wow. Hmm. Yes. And then I will use those caps to buy a stim pack. Stim pack. Where is it? Yes. Cool. Thanks. What the hell? Who's shooting? I don't like this. Yeah, I know. I moved to the ammo section of the merchant. I was flipping through the wrong places. What the hell? Um, Are they shooting the caravan? These are the Legion, right? Oh, the NCR is shooting the caravan? Wait, who is that? Recruit? Legionary? Oh, they're a person who wants to work with the Legion. Can I loot your body? Cool. Legion Denarius. Cool, thanks. Was that the only one? I think that was the only one. Let it all end. Quit your whining. That seems healthy. That seems good. The Legion was attacking the caravan and the NCR was fighting them, I think. Oh, bought it. That's cool. So they have like sort of um, radiant. Like I'm thinking, obviously just thinking of Skyrim, like it's like a radiant system. All right, cool. This is the Legionary. Don't love having to talk to you. Let's see if I can charisma my way out of this. I don't think I'll be able to. I might die. Um... Oh, wow. Y'all are going all in on the Latin, huh? Ave, avete. Okay, sure. Let's let's go, bud. Now I have to dig up all of my high school Latin. Shoot. <laughs> Veteran. Recruit. I think I gotta talk to the guy at the campfire. All right. What are the chances of my knowledge of Latin helping me here? Decanus? The profligates here were weak. No fight in them. Powder ganger. I don't like that I'm helping the powder gangers if I'm being real with you. I thought these were going to be like normal citizens. It's just two powder gangers that I'm saving. But if I have to choose. If I have to choose, I, I like the powder gangers more than the, the legion. They're both bad, right? But like one is, I think, just worse. Oh. How do I resolve this? Oh, do I have to talk to these guys? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That's how this goes. All right, cool. So. Cool. Of all the languages to survive an apocalypse, it was somehow Latin, right? Sneak attack, hull! Just get. Oh god! Oh god! I know I'm. In, I know I'm detected. I know what I'm doing. Oh god! Hold on. 
We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> oh, I can't use a grenade because it'll explode the guys. And we can't explode the guys. Oh, I'm detected. I don't have any... I wish I had a sniper rifle. Uh, Captain, thank you very much for the follow. All right, what is my best gun that won't blow them up? <sighs> Strength four. Strength three. Three. Strength four on the weathered pistol. I don't really like the 10 millimeter, but it's what I have. Oh god, throwing stuff? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, you know what? He's mad at me because I'm wearing pants. <laughs> you think I'm what? You think I'm from Gaul? Yeah, you, you, you'll think twice. Shunned? On Season's Legion? Oh, I'm sorry. Does Season's... Did Season's... Le Caesar's Legion get their fifis hurt? Did poor widow Season's... Caesar's Legion get their fifis hurt? Because I said, maybe let's not enslave strangers. Oh, wow. Boo-hoo. I'm so upset. You want to look at DPS? I'm gonna make this work. Oh, hi there. Those are feet. Um... How do you have armor on your little chicken legs, bud? You know what? I'm realizing now I should have maybe found a place with cover. I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna do this right. <laughs> Lara Croft, hello! I'm glad this is your favorite. I also really like it. Um, let's look at the DPS of my weapons this time. 48, no. 15, 11, 27, 39, 12. This is hard because I don't have weapons that are strong enough for these jerks. Oh god. Why are you so close? Alright, hold on. Let's let's this is not going well. <laughs> let's go for my tried and true nine millimeter. They have so much armor. I don't think I'm doing any damage to these buffoons. Yeah, I'm not doing nothing. God dang it. I don't think I have the gunpower for this. Even a headshot's not doing much. God dang it. Um, I might have to come back to this quest. Because this is just not... This is just not working. Oh, them detecting me counts? I think I'm gonna have to come back. Use the bonk. We'll, we'll, I don't have any blunt weapons, I don't think. Yeah, I don't use blunt weapons. I'm gonna have to come back to this because I don't have the gun power for this. Yeah, when the shield icon pops up, you're not doing enough damage to overcome their damage resistance. That makes sense. If I use the grenade rifle, I'm going to kill the convicts. All right, we'll try it. I don't have a lot of grenade shots, though. Yeah, see? <laughs> I blew up the guy I'm not supposed to blow up. All right, I need to just... draw them away. Oh, I do have the shotgun. Let's try that. Hey, knock knock. Who's there? Not you. Oh man, this isn't even doing anything. Because it's not strong enough. Alright, I need to draw them away. So I don't blow up 
the other guys. What? Because blowing up the other guys kind of defeats the whole purpose of trying to save them. So I'm going to start... Draw their fire. What the hell? Y'all, that guy's taking multiple grenades to the noggin and it took three to kill him. Are you joking me? Oh, oh, you're right here. Oh man, I can't sprint, can I? I'm gonna blow up if I use this near them. Hmm, this is not going the way I wanted it to go. I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need some, um, Melee weapons? Yeah, if I can get some melee weapons, I'll come back. But I don't think I'm strong enough for this quest yet. So we're not going to do that. Oh, that's right. I got to fix up ED, but I need better repair stats. I need a repair of like 50. All right. So let's go to Novak, which is this way. Cool. I was really hoping I could, like, talk to the legionaries or something, but it looks like that's not an option. So we're just gonna have to hoof it. Nevada Agave. Fancy. Uh, this is the way? Aha! I'm a genius! If you loot any of the legion spheres off them, you can kill them. I am not, I don't have a high enough sneak to pull that off. Not at level four. <laughs> I would love to get a sniper rifle of some kind because that's how I personally like to play these kinds of games. Um, I would suggest a higher guns or a higher sneak before taking these guys, but there might be another way. As I said before, I'm an aggressive player. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I'm with you on that. Um, I think I need to come back when I'm better prepared. Thanks for protecting me, NCR. Rita's Cafe! What does that say? What's the tagline? P Our pies are out of this world! I like pie. Oh god. Oh god, not again! Ow! Who is... Pulling me up? Thanks for saving me again, NCR. Oh, did they put mines? That knife is not strong enough. I think they put mines in the road. Oh, I'll just try and get to Nipton and then... Uh... Oh, the guy had a grenade rip. God, that makes sense. Right, I'll just try and sleep in a bed in town. And I don't want to use a stim pack when I'm so close. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna keep on trucking. Take their drugs so you can sell them for craps. I think I did. Because I feel like they're the drugs are lightweight and worth a lot, so I'd rather sell them than use them and have to deal with an addiction. That's, like, a lot. <laughs> um. Hello? Are you also taken over by the Legion? Do you have any sort of tomfoolery happening, or are y'all cool? Ranger Station Charlie. New California Republic Ranger Station. Um, NCR? Here or bad guys? Well, why don't we find out? Hello? Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military outposts. So if you're here on business, better make it quick. What was that about McCarran? Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. 
Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give the supplies back either. What if I take some of those extra supplies? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything in the first place. And I'd rather not get you into the habit of crossing the NCR. What is this place? Ranger Station, Charlie. We're responsible for keeping the highway up through Novak civilized. Anything unusual happening? All quiet at the moment. Ranger Beaumont is in charge here, but he's off leading a patrol. Uh, tell me about the Rangers. We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say eight out of ten recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your Ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow and more ferocious than a death claw. There are a lot of Rangers? A couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this one. We either man the station or patrol the immediate area. How does one become a ranger? The rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. Hmm. See ya. So could I become a ranger? I want to be a rootin' tootin' cowboy. That sounds like fun. So, can I sleep on your beds here? Ooh, I can. Ooh. Thank you for the stretchies. Mm -hmm. hey. Yes. Okie dokie. I guess there's not much else to do here, but uh, hang out. Dumpster? Even in-game, Clara gets a healthy amount of sleep. I just don't like traveling at night in games. Night is scary. It's hard to see. I like trying to travel when there's daylight, just because it's easier to get around, you know? Why would anyone throw away duct tape, right? I can understand if the duct tape was used for something, but if it's just a perfectly good roll of duct tape, I don't know why you would chuck it. it seems pretty wasteful. It holds the universe together. <gasps> Is that a T-Rex? Is Novak an amusement park? Huh? Is Novak a museum? It's either a museum with dinosaurs or an amusement park. Because the only other option is some, uh, like, pre-war, what's the word? Recluse who had a weird decoration habit for their house. Hmm. You have discovered Novak. Cool. Are you also going to have a Legion problem? What can I do for you? Why is the doctor covered in blood? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. I guess... Uh, hmm. I guess she just came out of surgery or something? The casings, can I sell these casings or should I keep them? I guess I can keep them because they don't take any storage space and they don't have any value. Um. Oh, wait, that's right. That's my ammo. I'm ding dong. Uh. Ba, 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 ba. Beep, 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 do, beep, ba, do. Bom, 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 bom. Selling garbage. Cool. Give me a shot if you need anything else. Uh, bye, Doc. I guess she doesn't have any. Cool. Why does that cow have two heads? Hold up. What? Um. 
Why is it like that? It's udders all messed up and it's got two noggins. How do you feed something with two heads? The caloric intake necessary to keep this abomination alive does not seem worth it. What the hell? Um, I wanted to get rid of that extra varmint rifle. Morning. Uh, and I guess there's just mercs here with the doctor. Okie dokie then. Oh, it's called Novak because it's like no vacancy. That is extremely funny. Actually, that's really clever. <laughs> I like that. Um, Dino Delight. So it's like a themed hotel. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Uh, we haven't met yet. Who are you? Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. What is this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. What is there of interest around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. <laughs> He's a His sight. Name is Dinky. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. I am so curious about an abandoned rocket facility. That sounds cool as hell. Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction and so far the slavers have left us alone where can i buy a sniper i want to take them out uh tell me more about repcon i just know what i've heard there's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back ever so often there'll be a commotion from that direction explosions and such watch out for strangers that sounds super mysterious I but i wasn't done talking to you where can i get supplies go see cliff briscoe at the dino bike gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Aww. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm looking for someone who tried to murder me. Any tips? Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air, you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seem to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Interesting. Um, completed head to Novak through Nipton. Find out from Manny Vargas where the cons were headed. What's been going on in town lately? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Watch out. Okay, so this is the hotel. I want to go to the gift shop. Which is in the dino? This way. Most people don't like being in a dino belly, I assume. <laughs> oh, that's fun. It's like built into it. That's adorable. All right, I'm going to take a quick snack break real because I I'm hungry. <laughs> so if y'all don't mind, I'm going to just real quick have a little snack. Uh, I'm going to be running some ads. You're not missing anything. I'm literally going to be chomping on food and it's only again. I run them so that you don't get hit with them at random, as at least to the best of my ability. So, uh, I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I have to eat slow because I have a weird little tum tum. 
And I just gotta open my snack. We don't mind. Thank you. I just like letting people know so it's not like a surprise, surprise. Let. Uh, come here. Um, I can't eat a lot of junk food anymore, but I can eat rice crackers and like rice cakes and stuff. So that has been a blessing. I'm kind of curious about what Caesar's Legion is doing over in Nipton. I might go back and talk to them. Because if it goes poorly, I can just reload the save, right? I think it's an option. You know what I haven't done yet? I gotta get candy for Halloween. And I just have not picked any up yet. When I heard Nipton, it made me think of, um, what is it, the Lipton tea brand or whatever? Tarantula, hello, I'm having a quick snack break. That's totally fair, Nandalos. My thing is like... I don't know. I, <laughs> I've never really been big on Halloween, you know? Skyflakes. Yeah, if it's baked, I can eat it. It's like the deep fried stuff that messes me up. Oh, no. Mao, hello. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, you just caught me during a quick little snack break. Okie dokie. Hello. Okay. I promise we are playing Fallout. Thank you for letting me have my little break. Uh, just gotta have a snack. I really should grab some like almonds or something. Okay. Let's talk to um the guy who lives in a dinosaur. Boone. Wait. Hold on. I reckon I know Boone from the memes. You're a follower, aren't you? No offense, but I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. So now's not a good time. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. Okay. Yeah. I swear I've heard people talk about Boone before. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Uh, Jenny May sent me. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. Aww. They see the sign and think, gift shop? 
that's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine. And my friends get a discount at my store. Aw, man, that's so sweet. That's so sweet of her. Chris, hello, you're totally good. Don't worry about it. What do you sell here? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, Montequila. I see nothing. Um, what about supplies? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. Tell me more about, the, more about the souvenir rockets. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. Do those rockets have mercury in them? To make, is it radium or is it mercury? Because both of those, no, it's, is it radium? No, it is mercury. <gasps> I don't wanna, I want, is the T-Rex got stuff in it? That's right, mercury doesn't glow. That's right, I'm thinking, I mercury is the, the, the liquid that I, <laughs> apparently, in like the 1960s, when teachers were teaching chemistry, they would pull out mercury and let students play with it with their fingers. So I was confusing myself. It's radium because that's how that's what happened to the radium girls. Wow, that's real bad. Uh, how did those? How did how did irradiated toys get here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the dino bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. That's Plenty funny. Demand for them, seeing as how they're one of a kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Um, I want a dinosaur. Sure have a look. <gasps> Dinky, oh, Dinky's a thousand caps. Oh man, I'm gonna have to come back for it because that's a lot. I do want Dinky for the future though. Fixing things. Ooh, uh, I'll take that for repair plus ten. Um, katana. Oh, it's two thousand. Oh, he has a thousand stock. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it says value. V A L one thousand. He has one in stock for a thousand caps. Right. That's for all a thousand? Oh! Got it. One cap for dino. Okay. I was like... <laughs> that was way too much money. Sorry. I understand now. Thank you. I don't want to... What would happen? I bet there's like dialogue if I buy all a thousand. But I don't want to do that. I only want one dinky. Um, God, I want that katana so bad, but that is 2,000 caps. Um, Lad's life? Nah, well, I don't think it would hurt to have it. Um, hyper breeder for not hell. Um, 12,000 caps? That's got to be a sniper rifle, though. <gasps> I want it. Knocked Wolf, welcome in. Hello. Might I say? Yeah, please suggest a weapon. I want the pa Paciencia. I want that. But that is way too much money. Oh, God, that's so expensive, but it's so good. But it's so expensive. Ugh. Um... Power fist? 
308 Winchester. Maybe it's under W. I'm not seeing it here. Um, that gun. Bonus critical chance. Uh, stim pack. Oh, your stim packs are cheaper. I'll have to grab some of those. Rocket souvenir. Ripper carbide teeth. Um. I need so many more caps. God. That gun is a reference to the older Fallout games. Oh, that's fun. I would love to have a sniper rifle. But I don't think he sells one. Which super sucks. Let me grab a stim pack while I'm here. Come back soon. Thanks, Cliff. All right, I wanna. Oh wait, Manny, I need to talk to you. Wait, Doc. Oh, How you doing, Manny? What's going on, man? I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? He's a good friend of mine. I'm just trying to help him out. Oh yeah. A good friend, if you say so, man. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Okay, what do you need? I'm listening. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch I of knew it. Up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go. Or this will be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do about it. It'd mean a lot to me. Who are you, by the way? <laughs> I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you've got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. Head to the Repcon facility west to investigate rumors of ghouls. Okay. Um, what do you protect your town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Hmm. Get your lock, to, lock pick to 100. I'll put you to my favorite sniper rifle. That's gonna be a long way away. Oh, God. Do you want a stealth playthrough? His silencer would be good. Oh. Does the silencer work with any weapon? Can I just, like, equip the silencer? Or is it only for specific guns? Um. Oh, shoot. Uh... Kev, could you put on a mode only mode, please? <laughs> I gotta fix that button. That's what I figured. It would be like a specific gun thing. Uh, who is Boone? Boone's a sniper. Same as me. Used to spot. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Aha. Continue. Boone's a sniper. Same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Why are you on bad terms with Boone, bud? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What? Homeboy's wife is missing and you're not helping him find her? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted. Earned my future. Brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Wait, so... Manny was mad. I want to make sure I understand this. Manny was mad... That Boone got a wife who was like, hey, maybe don't constantly endanger yourself. 
This guy has questionable judgment. Like, let's be real. I don't really trust Manny's um, judgment making skills, you know? What a weirdo. So you were in a gang? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. This guy was a con? How did he go from yeah. being a con to being in the NCR? Note added, nighttime sniper. But that explains why he knows... Um... Alright, I want to talk to Boone. But I have to wait until after 9. Time is passing along. Okay. Um. Oh, Boone. Wait, 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 wait. No offense, but I need to focus. If you want to. It is after 9 p.m., you ding dong. All right, I guess I have to wait for him to, like, sit in his post. And whatever. All right, there we go. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? You told me to come here. Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Oh, God dang it. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I only need two points. <sighs> you gotta be joking me. Oh, I haven't saved recently. Mm, okay, well, um, I wanted to check out the view. I think you better leave. I'm just making friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. Well, I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Are you gonna try and kill me? Not unless you give me a reason. I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. Okay. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while oh, I was on Oh, that sucks! Watch. They knew when to come, what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You want me to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Oh, buddy! Oh, that sucks! What do I do if I find them? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do to help. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. How do you know your wife is dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Oh man. Yeah. Homeboy's had a rough go of it, huh? I'm not gonna reload the save to do the speech check, because ultimately I still found out what I wanted to find out. Um... He said not to ask around town, but... I need leads, so I'm gonna ask around town. You know? Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Yeah, we talking about um You could just take anyone? I d I'm not doing that. Well, can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for her. She was in the store once, but she Thank didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. 
Okay. No motive. So far, Manny is suspicious. But I think he's a red herring. Come back. If it's Jeannie May, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset. Um, Ranger Andy. Hey, bud. We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Uh, what do you do here? I'm going to butter him up a bit and talk to him a bit. Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. You are doing good. You're protecting an entire town, bud. You're with the NCR? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station Aww. pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. No, I was there. That was the Ranger Charlie, right? The 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 Charlie outpost. Oh God, hold on. Almost knocked something over. Don't mind me. Um. Yeah, would you feel better if I checked in on your friends? Uh, no, no. They're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've got. Can I give him medicine? Can I? Oh, I hope I can give him something. I think Clara did it. Carla's name was too close, so <laughs> Clara eliminated her. <laughs> Hold on, I wonder if I can heal him. A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. Huh. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. Oh, God. I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. It stabbed him? He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. What? You had... That sucks. Your body is injured, not your mind. You're kidding yourself if you think you're useless. Huh. People don't exactly line up to find out what's in my head. Can't remember the last time someone suggested I knew something worth knowing. You know, maybe there's something I can do for you. Since you've gone to all the trouble of flattering a crippled old soldier, there's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking oh. the opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times, maybe it will for you too. Let me show you how it's done. Ooh, new unarmed technique, Ranger Takedown. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. Thanks, Andy. Hold on, I'm not done talking to you. Wait. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I um. What's wrong with Boone? Had his wife taken. I don't think he'll ever be the same as he was. Damn shame. I told the rangers up at the station to keep an eye out. But there's just too much ground out there for them to cover. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but... If you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Yeah, didn't I go to the station? I'll go back, I guess. Alright, so... This is a house that's boarded up. 
Who else would know anything? Boone's room. Hotel room. Hotel room, motel room. Hotel room requires key. That's probably the room you sleep in. Um, Manny Vargas. What else can you tell me? Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Yeah. That fork in the dumpster, isn't that important? No, it's not. This is an unfunny joke. <laughs> Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like Manny's a red herring. It's It feels too easy to point my finger at him. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Can you tell me anything? What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Wait, so why does everyone in town assume... So everyone in town assumes she ran off on him. It's kind of what it feels like, other than Manny. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Right, no one in town, that's right, no one in town knows she's dead, except Manny talks about her like she's dead. Um. What? Is it Manny? Is it that? It can't be that easy. Howdy, partner. Oh, <gasps> hello. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Why are you here in Novak, Victor? I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Quite a coincidence. This is kind of suspicious. Seeing how this is the only road around, I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into each other from time to time. Hmm. Oh, it's right. You said the, the men that jumped me might be heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Uh, you know what? It is nice to see a friendly face. He did save me. Likewise, friend. Likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Um. Can Victor be a companion? This is a serious question. Can Victor fight with me? That's a mighty fine offer, but I'm gonna need to conserve my strength. Oh man, that would have been fun. To New Vegas. I'm sure you do just be seeing you. Man, I didn't realize you were gonna be here, buddy. Alright, um, who the hell else can I talk to in town? Because I have not a whole lot of leads. Um, let's see. There's got to be someone else. Oh, the doctor. Maybe the doctor knows something. It has a name. So she probably has dialogue associated with her. This is easily the best Fallout. That's what everyone said, which is why I figured I should finally play it. <laughs> Welcome in. Hello. We're currently trying to figure out what happened to Boone's wife. Please don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'm playing with no spoilers. Uh, I want to talk to that doctor lady. If it yeah, you're not going to have anything to say. Novak would have turned to dust um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Green Man, welcome in. Hello. McBride House. 
Dusty McBride. Hey, you're from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. <laughs> Chef Sedge and Sig, thank you all for the follows. I appreciate that. If y'all are interested, I'll be playing more Fallout tomorrow. Uh. Uh. Oh, that's right. I heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the tier one sub. By the way, is it Sedgwidge? Is that pronounced right? I. It's not you. I'm real bad at pronouncing names. I promise you it's not you. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. If you're interested, in addition to getting access to all the emotes I made myself, fancy little sub badge ad reviewing. If you want to head over to the Discord, we have a little section for subscribers to hang out in. Um, the Discord's free for everyone. There's just like a little little sub lounge. Um, Sedge Wedge or Siege. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Soul. <laughs> I gotta fix my stream deck. The API got all messed up. And I have to take the time to get all my buttons working again. So thank you for that. Um... <laughs> the livestock quest is time BTW. If you take it, you need to finish it within a few days. That's the kind of spoiler I like. Shoot. Got it. Thank you. Um, cool. So we're we're changing gears because I just found about that today in game. God dang that. Thank you for that. I kind of like that there's a timed quest because I feel like quests are always like someone's gonna die and then you show up like three months later in game and they're just like a little sad hostage. <laughs> um, what do you do here in Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Uh, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Just real quick, while I'm here. Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone. That's for darn sure. All right, what can you tell me about the attacks? Let's fix this. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again, but it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Yeah, but like, I feel like the entire town would benefit. Oh yeah, did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, ma'am, but them two-headed bees ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever oh, it, it is, might be midnight I already. I might have... Mm. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. All right, let me see if I can get info from your wife, and then I'm going to go figure this what out. Come quick, Billy's stuck in the well. Comes back two years later, and Billy is still fine. <laughs> I prefer New Vegas, but the atmosphere of Fallout 3 is better. I truly don't know anything about any of these games, except that New Vegas is one of my brother's favorite games. So I I, I recognize Boone's name, because I know my brother's talked about Boone. Um, I've watched people play some of 4, but I don't know much about it, honestly. Like, I've watched a few streams of it here and there, but... I really don't know much about Fallout at all. Um, what do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whoop till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. Who the hell is no bark? I'm not sure who started it. it. Wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. <gasps> Anyway, That's so mean. I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. <laughs> Artificer, thank you for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> um. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Boone. 
That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seemed real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. So I'm going to say this is a little suspicious that Alice is the only one who straight up like doesn't know what happened to his wife. This is a small town. People talk in small towns. She absolutely would have known she's not here. What can you tell me about the attacks on your ranch? Well, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. All right. Nice. Well, let's try and resolve this as quickly as possible. I don't have a quest marker for this, which super sucks. Um, It's currently 11 p.m. Where is your cattle? Here. There's currently three left alive. Can I, like, investigate the corpse or something? I really love the whodunit type quests. Me too. I love, like, mystery quests like this where if you're attentive, you can solve them. Um, that's one of my, actually, one of my favorite quests in Oblivion. Um, you, what's the word? In the castle in Coral, the city to the west. Um, a painting is missing and you have to investigate who stole the painting and it's really fun. Short little quest. All right, we have three. Uh, yeah, it's currently 11 p.m. in game. They said. The shootings tend to occur around midnight. And that the person sounded like they were coming from the west which is that way so i'm gonna hide behind this rock i guess yeah i'm gonna do a stakeout let me save over that uh i'm gonna do a stakeout thank you for the head pat oh but i need to be able to because they're shooting it i don't know if they're walking in or not well we'll find out i have a save i'm detected by the cows there we go Thank you for that. All right, let's wait uh, an hour. I only see cows. It's midnight. But I don't see no one. Oh, <gasps> you're invisible. Nightkin. Who the hell is Nightkin? What happens if I shoot you? What the fuck? What the hell? What on earth is this thing? Ew. Oh my god, what? What? Who the fuck? What the hell are you? What the huh? What? The screams of Brahmin? What the f What the hell is this thing? He's a super mutant? Driven by overuse of stealth boys. So there was no talking to him, right? Like, murdering him's okay? We're good? Man, invisibility was not in my... Bingo board. Wait, can you not kill... Is there a way to... Can you not kill him and resolve this? Or, like, does he have to die? Oh, murder's all you got? Okay, cool. Hey, good news! Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Dusty, 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 dusty. But dusty. Find anything? Oh yeah, no one's gonna attack anymore because it was. Is peace an option? Because I don't. You have to kill him. 
Because that's the thing. Wait, no, he he would have just done this to something else, right? I don't feel bad about this. He is sleepy. Let him rest. No. Hold. How do you talk to him? I don't think you could, because how do you initiate conversation? I don't feel bad. Home guy was pathological about this. No one's going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Well, thanks for the caps, bud. So long. Accepted. Aw, yay, Novak likes me. I can listen to the tape? How? Hold on. Um. Oh, hold on. I don't want the radio on. Oh, because I'm in the house. Um. Screams of the Brahmin? Where would I find that? I know I picked it up. It's a text note. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Oh, yeah. So... Cool. That sounds like... Mm, he was not really a friend to keep around. Um... So I have to do some snooping if I'm going to figure out what happened to... <gasps> Dino Tilly. If I'm going to figure out what happened to uh, Boone's wife, right? <laughs> Lost ones, welcome in. Call me soul. Okie dokie. Can doodle. Ramen steaks buff your strength. I might come back for them and like sell them or something, but... Don't mind me, I'm just snooping around for clues. Someone has to know something. So if I murdered a person, where would I hide the evidence? Why is the refrigerator locked? Wait a minute. I don't have the lock picking to open it, but that's kind of suspicious. Um, <laughs> Larix, hello. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm doing a no spoilers playthrough, but. Mm. Yeah, I need to be looking for a safe to be sure. No one. <sighs> no one. <laughs> Spoiler, fridge is locked. <laughs> No one seems to have beef with his wife. At least they're not stupid enough to say anything about it. But none of this adds up. Peace is not a hundred, uh, not an option with that nightkin. That makes sense. Um, random non-named NPCs will not be involved in this. Um, spooky house. Oh, No Bark's shack. I haven't talked to No Bark yet. They're here. Don't let them get the antidote. No, it's just you. You can. Can't have it either. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. I don't mean you any harm. We are friends. We'll just see about that. You come any closer and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. Okay. <laughs> Souls, thank you for the follow. Uh... We can talk from a distance. We can talk from a distance, bud. You sure now? 
It's kind of hard to hear you. I need you to make up your mind. You said you would stab me with the knife. Okay, okay, just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Okay, um... Hmm... Why do they call you No Bark? Because they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, because it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. What have you seen? Anyone been acting strange lately, bud? I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him. Because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not, he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. Hmm. Faction am I siding with? I think so far I want to join the NCR because the Legion is, um, awful. <laughs> like, it's, you're, you're choosing, like, comical evil versus, like, morally gray. Um... Yeah, to be fair, I've been thinking there's invisible people around. We literally just saw an invisible nightkin, so... Uh, anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they've seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Okay, uh, what do you think's actually at the factory? Ghosts. <gasps> Kame ghosts, <laughs> but don't know they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. Next time I'm gonna have to blame losing something on a communist ghost. <laughs> All right, bud. Oh, uh, yes, commie ghosts. <laughs> Yeah, sex is slaver versus taxes. Look, I don't mind taxes, right? If my roads get fixed, if my schools are funded, I'm not upset about that. Damn commie ghosts making our moons pink. <laughs> uh, what's been going on in town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always, there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says no bark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says no bark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic <laughs> weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. You know, he wasn't completely wrong. Gotta stick him with your sticking knife. <laughs> Uh, no, Mark, it's just old man yells at Cloud. <laughs> what do you know about the deaths at the corral? I come face to... He was the best... Yeah, we don't really need... I don't need this information. We already fixed that. Um, what about Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby, too, for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the john, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you asked me. I thought it was cannibals. Come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Sounds good to me, Nobark. Hold up. Hold up. Um. Send someone. Oh, no, hold on. Uh, look for evidence of the guilty party inside the Dino D Light lobby. You know, I'm going to be completely real with y'all. Some of... Nobark's got maybe... 
His no logic bark doesn't is the most always... reasonable man I've ever met. <laughs> Thank you for the other bits. His logic doesn't always completely check out, but I don't disagree with him on the whole, like, if someone's wearing pants on their head, their cards are all out on the table. You know? It feels like he's hinting that whoever did this is bald, but the only bald person I know of is Boone and the guy who taught me that NCR trick. And that don't make much sense. So what clues... Oh, that looked like a clue. Oh, man. If Jenny May is going to be part of this, I'm going to be kind of upset. Uh... There we go. Bill of sale. We, the representatives of the Consul Officicorum, have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie May Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt whereof is hereby acknowledged we warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We covenant with the said... Je Jeannie May Crawford, that we have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus. The claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. M. Scribonius Libo Drusus et al. Administrators of M. Lucinius Crossus Consul Officicorum ob Famulatus. Hmm. Wow, girl, why'd you have to go make everything bad? Mm, okay, Boone, I have bad news. So, we can safely say, here's the thing, if I just kill her, we don't know where, if we just kill Jeannie Mae, we don't know where his wife went. I need to basically interrogate her to find out where she is. Man, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. <sighs> Boone said she was dead. But we don't know that she's dead. I'm just gonna save. I just, I just gotta see. I just gotta see. Because that's the thing. The Legion took her. We don't know if she's dead yet. I just have to try. Oh, I don't want to pickpocket your safety. Hi, good morning. Hey there. Is everything all right? Dang it. Watch out. So Boone knows for sure that she's dead. Right? Boone knows for sure she's dead. There's no There's no other secrets. I've solved the mystery. Okay. Well, because it's still nighttime, so let's go for a walk. Is everything all right? All right, let me put my hat on. Man, so he lost his, he lost his wife and his child. But why? Is it just because she, cause she... I guess she just wanted the money? For the town? And figured, oh, well, no one likes his wife anyway? <laughs> this lady would probably go on to reinvent HOAs. Um, w will I find out? I do have the hat on. I just put it on. I can always save again. Here, I'll... Just to be safe. I know it's like midnight and it's super weird to be out at night, but oh well. And that's one of the mercs, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um.
she won't be needing those glasses anymore you know um oh i already have a pair of reading glasses well oh wait i can repair them nice all right let's go talk to boone oh neat plus two perception <laughs> man homeboy has been waiting for that opportunity <laughs> All right, let's hop back up. All right, um, hey, bud. <laughs> Thank you, Vic. I appreciate it. So, how are you? How are you holding up, buddy? That's it then. How did you know? I found the bill of stale. Uh, here you go. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here, this is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What are you going to do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. <gasps> Come with me, let's be friends! You don't want to do that. I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. The spotter perk? What the hell is the spotter perk? What that mean? Um... Oh, he sees enemies coming further off. Nice! I didn't know you got perks from companions. That's so cool. I love that. Friendship is discovering who sold your wife into slavery and blowing their head off. <laughs> um, I want to get better at lockpicking. Um, so I can break into higher difficulty stuff. And... I will... Squalling on speech, baby. Can I give him armor? Wait, but what happens to the hotel now? <laughs> Who's gonna run the town? <laughs> I'm not using any mods. I wanted to just play the game vanilla to start. Um, because I've never played before. Uh... Oh, I would like to give him his beret back. Open inventory. First recon beret, Merc Grunt outfit, sunglasses. Um. Hmm, Merc Grunt outfit's not very good. Oh, it's a spare? Eh, it's fine. Um. Whoever runs the town, they probably won't sell someone into slavery. Yeah, right? Um, can I give you better armor? The vault suit. I was just give him the leather armor. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Oh, I can't make him equip it? Wait. He's not equipping it. There we go. I see, I see, I see. Okie dokie, we have a friend now. Um... I am so curious about what's up with that, uh, Repcon test site. Where was it? Uh, 
I'm curious about what the hell is up with that. Manny asked me to check it out. I think it'll help the town if I check it out. I just, I'm curious. I want to know what that's all about. So let's grab that quest. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for head pats. Um, gotta go this way. Can I sleep in Jeannie Mae's bed? If she's dead. <laughs> do I get, do I get free sleeping bonus? She doesn't live here no more. God dang it. All right. Well, let's get shot. <laughs> Zomith, hello. I'm well. How are you? We're, uh, we just finished up a murder mystery. And now we are gonna go investigate a potentially haunted space facility? Question mark. I don't want to fight Boone. No. Not that. What the hell? What is a glowing one? The commie ghost! <laughs> oh, if I talk to Cliff, I can get a bed? Got it. Okay. So ghouls in this game are humans who are like super irradiated, right? They're 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 humans. Oh! What the hell? What? Uh huh? What the hell? Where's the body? Boon! You absolute monster! I am so glad I helped you. Not just because it's the right thing to do, but because you're real good at pew pew murder. Oh god. Can I not be friends with them or are they completely... Oh, they're feral. Okay. Claret six punk. Hello! Thank you! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, why are you so fast? Huh, sorry. Pilgrimage, thank you for the subs! Oh god. Boone! Please! Oh, Boone, please, 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 please. You're a sniper! There we go! Wow! Why do they have rat away? I thought ghouls were sentient. Am I wrong? I thought they had like thoughts and stuff. Oh, not the feral ones. Got it. Okay. So this is the way to... Ghouls are essentially zombies, the feral ones. Oh, okay. That's right. Can't run from me. Oh god! <gasps> you got so close so fast. <gasps> Ghouls become feral over time. Is there no way for them to like not do that? Is there no cure? Because I thought, I remember people talking about ghouls when Fallout 4 came out, and I thought there was like a whole thing about like ghouls rights or something, but. We bar club, sure, I'll take that. Thanks. Hello. Completed. Head to the facility. Enter the facility and discover the source of the ghouls. What do you mean the source? Is somebody making ghouls? I'll take free ammunition, sure. Thank God ammunition doesn't weigh anything. That would suck so hard. There's no cure for the radiation poisoning they pandored. It's only a matter of time. Oh, that's sad. You gotta be joking me. Okay, well. Picked it, so. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, bed. Mm-hmm. 
Nice. Thank you. Free stuff. Um, the facility is this way, right? Yeah. Oh, given ghouls are functionally immortal, it makes sense. Oh, there are pre-war ghouls that have been alive since the bombs dropped. That's rough. Isn't that like literally hundreds of years? See some ghouls walking around. Hmm. Hello. Wow, some ghouls are old. If they remember like pre-war stuff, that's nuts. All right. Um, are you mean? You're mean. Oh God. Oh God. Nice. There we go, Boone. The old one too, yes. I am very glad I helped Boone. I see why everyone likes Boone. <laughs> Boone's rolled out of this. Wowie zowie. Okay, um, cigarettes. Thank you. Oh no, this looks like a person. Right, brother. I was a feral ghoul until Clara shot me in the <laughs> knee. I used to be a feral ghoul like you until I took a uh, gunshot to the knee. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. What the hell is the Bright Brotherhood? I don't like the sound of that at all. That sounds bad. What perks do you have asking for a reason? Um, I have. Oh, how do I check that? Here we go. Here are my perks. I found it. I'm smart. I'm so smart. <laughs> Plasma guns are good. A crit can one-shot enemies and turn them into goo? Wow. You ever just want to eat human soup? <laughs> um, but yeah, I have all of these. I do want to get the femme fatale one too. Uh, at some point. I always be eating human soup. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, human soup is bad for my IBS. <laughs> um. Oh. I don't want to be near that car. Hold the phone. There is a big old explodey boy behind me. I know a lot of people wanted me to get the wild wasteland, but I was hesitant because... Um, I've never played the game before. So I don't really know, like... What I'm doing? You know? Like, I basically, I want to play the game as vanilla as possible. Also, apparently it's movie references, and I don't know a lot of movies. It's kind of sad that they're carrying, um... money on them you can break the plasma goo with the right perks that's really fun actually that's very chaotic and stuff <laughs> we're not having another food talk stream <laughs> yeah that's what i was thinking uh ginger i was thinking like i'd rather do um wild wasteland after i've played the game and like know what to expect from it you know oh that stuff Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Stop. Okay, God. Whoa. Um. There's light skins. Boone, what are you doing? Boone, what are you doing? What are we fighting? What are we shooting at? Oh, there's a second floor? What the hell? Boone, I'm trying to investigate. Could we be a little quiet? Um. Okay. 
The stairwell. What did he say? Upstairs. All right. Let's well, just upstairs to the left? Question mark. Was it this way? Um. Human flesh. Yum yum yum. Let's, let's just go where I was told to go. Up the stairs. Is it this way? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, that's good. He only shoots at hostiles. That's good to know. Thank you. Actually, I'll take that plasma rifle because I can repair. Um. <laughs> it's spooky up here. I don't like it. But. <laughs> um. This way? I hope this isn't timed. I don't know where the hell... Spooky voice wanted me. Okay, cool. The guy sounded like he was in a rush. Nice. Wait, where does that door go? Is that... No, it's Stone's place. Okay. Yeah, navigate... Like, the guy made it sound like it was so easy to navigate through here, but it's not. Oh, there's items on top of the safe? Thank you. I can't see in the dark. I could turn on my flashlight, but I'm a scaredy cat. Um, pencil, safe, microfusion cell, rounds. Cool. Real quick, let me... Hello there. Oh my god. You scared the heck of Jesus out of me. <gasps> I was like, how could someone talk to me in the game? If I'm in a menu... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Oh, God. Um... Uh... Uh, don't do this to me. Some dialogue exists to give the player a sense of urgency. Most quests are not timed. Go it. That's blood. That's blood. That's blood. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. I want to find the spooky... Y'all, I'm so lost. What the hell? He made this sound so easy. I want to find the... Public server access. Public kitchen. Two. All RubCon employees. From Emily Niemeyer. Facilities manager. Hello, everyone. Please remember that the kitchen is a privilege and not a right. Please clean up after yourselves. Remember that a clean kitchen is a happy click kitchen. Thanks, Emily. P.S. Please also remember that any food left in the icebox without a date will be thrown away every Friday evening, so date your food. Welcome to RobCo. To all staff from Steve Reynolds, Launch Facility Project Manager. Greetings, fellow RepCon employees. I'm happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Robco. Starting tomorrow, we will be an official Robco facility. Most of you won't notice anything different aside from an increase in benefits. 
Thank you all for your time. Welcome again to the Robco family. Steve. Cake. To Stacy Johnson, junior engineer from Gordon Peche, senior engineer. Stacy, are you kidding me? We've been planning Martin's party for months now and you forgot to order the cake? There's no way we're going to find some place to deliver one out here on, on this type of notice. Go to the break room, find something for everyone to eat at the party. Gordon. Hmm. What the hell? Boone, what did you do? What was that sound? Boone? I just wanted to investigate. What the hell? <laughs> Why is it so fast? What the hell? What the dog doing? <laughs> I was trying to be all smart and investigate stuff. Stuff to attack me. <gasps> Boone. Boone, you can't be doing this to me, buddy. I'm trying to read about office politics. God. Uh, same thing. Okay. To Robco HQ Supply Department from Bill Martin, Repcon Custodian. Dear Robco Supply, first off, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's super to be part of a company as exciting as Robco. Have we got some kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday, a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Robco think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. Thanks, Bill Martin. Private server access. Hold up, hold up. I want to open that. Use the words gross. Well, gross is in terms of... Uh, um, that's like an economics thing. So, so gross as an adjective... Companions in this game aren't stealthy. They alert enemies and shoot first. I don't hate that, honestly. At least I always have some backup. <laughs> Thank you, Kaze. Um, gross as an adjective is like to describe something that is disgusting or unseemly. Gross product in economics is talking about like... Yeah, gross as opposed to net. Thank you. It was worded weirdly, though. Um, Here's Isley. Robco visit. To Steve from Pierce. Steve, please make sure your people are ready for the Robco visit. We are down to negotiating on what the project is worth. So the better that experiment goes tomorrow, the better for all of us. Re Robco visit. To Pierce from Steve. Sir, I have my team looking into what happened yesterday. I was assured by my best people that the experiment would go off without a hitch. We're starting a cleanup of the affected area today, but I'm told it may take decades for the radiation to clear completely. Ooh, another reply. To Steve from Pierce. Just make sure that someone is punished for this. This has significantly reduced our position with Robco. I want them to know that we can keep our house in order. Interesting. Can't run from me. Who what are you shooting at? Oh god. There's a weapon that plays a song when you draw and holster it. That's funny. Yeah, same thing. All right. Mm. So the the this this facility got merged and then things went south fast is what I'm gleaning from all this. God, this facility is a maze, and I hate it. I'm so lost. Am I missing any computers? Any fun little hacky hacks? Martin's retirement? To Gordon from Emily. Hey, Gordon. I was as surprised as you to hear about Martin's retirement. It seemed that things were going so well. The party sounds like a great idea. I'm sure he'll love to see everyone on his last day. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. And that's what happened to the cake situation. Oh, open desk. I love when there's just bullets in the desk at a scientific facility. 
that's normal and good, right? Oh. Eat this. There's an upstairs. Oh, let me help my buddy. Boone, where are you going? What the hell? Company. Oh. oh. I hate this. It makes me scared. I can't do this. I already have tummy problems. I can't be more scared right now. Please. Why did it run away? Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Look, sometimes when you're scared, you toot. What do you want from me? All right? It's not my fault. Um. This looks like a fancy office. Fancy off. Ooh, there's a safe. Employee terminal, let's go. I'm gonna do some hacker man stuff because I'm smart. Softlock Solutions Inc. Your security is our security. Storage room terminal. To Steve from Bill, janitor. Hi, Steve. We finished converting that old generator room into storage as you requested. If you need to get access to the safe, the password, the password is Repcon. Thanks, Bill. Retirement. To Steve from Martin. No, Martin is Emily's father? Emily's surname was also Niemeyer, wasn't it? Hello, quote Stevie. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised. You were a devious worm when we started here all those years ago. I guess someone has to take the blame and it may as well be your old friend. I knew it, I knew it. I was thinking this. They needed someone to take the fall, so they made him retire. That waste spill would never have happened if you didn't push the team so hard or if you paid the actual competent personnel. I'll be happy to take my retirement package. Good riddance to you in this forsaken place, Martin. Okay. I can't pick it? Oh. Pretty sure I have a lock picking thingy. Let's see if it's got good stuff. Ha! It doesn't have good stuff. There's a waste. <laughs> I still have to figure out where that intercom voice was coming from. Ugh. Meet upstairs. Yeah, where are they? I guess I should follow my little icon, huh? Um. Check all your corners. A dead body. The stealth boys are for sneaking. Yeah, I might just sell them. This can't be the right way. I'm so lost. I have... I have to be up... Is this... Can someone tell me seriously? Is this the right way? Because this looks like it's going down. Oh, am I going up there? Wait. Okay, thank you. I'm so confused. Oh, that's an angry friend. Boone! Where'd you go, buddy? Boone! Wow. 
Why isn't Boone? Can Boone die? Oh my god. Buddy, I can't do this without you. Uh, mm, okay, let's go up this way. Uh, I'm scared. I'm not here for a fight, buddy. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. You're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, smooth skin. Is this some kind of, like, mind control nonsense? What the hell is going on? Um... You mind if I try and read from your fancy computers? Yes. Right followers. I knew something was funky. There's like a bunch of cultists running around. What am I getting myself into? I don't like this. Um. Uh. Jason Bright. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? What is going on? Um, I don't... Uh, why would you let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared. And the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough, we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Um, who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. <laughs> Dude, looks like the most wilted Brussels sprout ever. Um, tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more oh, accurate the night guys never actually appeared at all. The demons are yeah. invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Okay, so you said a demon raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? I need to know what you're doing. Pray as soon as the underground has been rid of demons, Preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Yeah, what the hell is the is Great right Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. 
The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. I don't like the sound of this great journey. Like, what? Wh how do you make it? The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. Uh, okay, what's the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. I'm so worried that they're gonna, like, blow up a nuke or something. Um, I'm here because the feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out, somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Oh, uh, you know, that's kind of sweet. That he's Let like, look, we know that feral ghouls demons. have, like, lost their lives, right? Like, they're lost their minds, but we're at least gonna, like, contain them. I, I think that's kind of nice, right? Because all of these people, that is their fate, right? Go bother. All right, Chris, whatever your deal is. Cool, so... Oh, I want to know what's in there, but everyone can... I just want to know what's in here. I don't want to steal nothing from no one. To Martin from Steve. Hello, Martin. First, let me thank you for all of your years of dedicated service with me and the rest of our Repcon family. Without all of your hard work, we would not have achieved a fraction of the success that we enjoy today. That being said, the face of Repcon is getting younger, and according to my records, you have been fully vested in your pension for a little more than two years. Given the recent incident, I think that this is an excellent time for you to retire gracefully. Your friend, Stevie. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna just reload as if I didn't do that, because I don't want people to dislike me. Um, get rid of the nightkin in the basement. Cool. Do I have to? They're they're big. They're bullet sponges. I don't really want to. Y'all are just ch okay. Why doesn't he wrangle the feral ghouls again? So he can't. No one can leave this room without garnering the ire of some super mutants. Otherwise, they would do that. Um. Okay, I have to go to the basement, which I don't want to do. I don't want to go down there, because it's scary and possibly radioactive. Um, But I, I have to, like, resolve this, right? Because otherwise these ghouls are going to keep wandering into Novak and dash no good. So how do I get downstairs? This way. Radiation's good for you? I don't know if I would agree with that. Oh my god. Boone, how did you get there? You're gonna scare the pants off me, guy. Hello there. Ah, please. <laughs> scared the freaking pants off me, y'all. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, my heart just went into my butt. Oh, God. Dark in here. If you want to use a scope, I can spot for you. Keep you on target. I would love for you to protect me, Boone, please. I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. Oh, my God. I have my little dinky gun, and I have to fight guys who are invisible.
It looks like a safe in the... Oh, it's just fire. Oh my god. <laughs> um... Uh... Uh... Whoa! That's a guy. That's a guy. That's a guy. Boon, please. Boon, please. Boon, please. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Where are your legs looking like? Oh, thank you, Boon. Thank you. Why is it so big? God. I should heal just a little bit. Uh... Oh, God. Hello there. Ah, uh, no, please. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh god. Why am I zoomed out? How do I zoom back in? Boon, I don't want to hurt you. I'm sorry, Boon. I'm sorry, Boon. Oh god. Uh, the leg, the leg, the leg, the leg, the leg. I can't aim at it. I can't. Oh my god, oh my god. Boon, please, boon, please. Boon, please, boon. Please, boon. <gasps> I don't know how to... Oh my god! I don't know how to zoom back in. I'm not good at aiming in third person. How do I zoom back in? How do I zoom back in? <sighs> <laughs> I have a kid scroll wheel. I'm on a controller. I don't have a scroll wheel. Oh my god. <sighs> bumper, that, that's a trigger maybe? No, it's shooting. Right bumper is rads. Left bumper. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> is the way that's down so i have to go this way and i don't wanna oh no wait i'm <sighs> shooting legs does less damage but it cripples them oh my god i hate this uh, oh god things out there who the hell are you jason sent me to get rid of the quote demons and i bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass <laughs> instead of him right well good luck with that i'd give you a hand but no thanks i may look like a corpse but i'm partial to living i don't want to fight you you don't look like the other ghouls from bright's group guess the outfit gives that away huh I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine looking goulettes in it. Uh, or maybe I would have to tell you. <laughs> anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. How did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. 
This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? That's fair. Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. I like Harlan. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone, and a story. Okay, um, how can I help you out? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Oh. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get <laughs> out of your way. <laughs> Thanks for hanging, Kaze. Bye. Um, yeah, I'll find your friend. Thanks. All right, cool. So I can't go in there until I find his friend. Cool. Love that. I don't mind helping him, to be clear. I just want to be out of here because all these guys are invisible. And... Every time I see one, my stomach hurts even more. And I don't want my tummy to hurt no more. So this reeks. Um, That was the way in, right? God, it's so hard to see. It's all dark. And they're all invisible. Um... hate that I can't tell if they're coming. I really hate that I can't tell. <gasps> See you, you bastard. Ah! Whoa, what the hell? What the fuck? Huh? You got fire? Where is it? There you are. Nope, not Boone, not Boone, not Boone. Can they be seen through vats, even if they're invisible? Milky, love that. It is so dark. I cannot see. Oh, vats will... <gasps> Vats can see only with the spotter perk, but I have it. Man, I picked up Boone at the right time, y'all. It is so dark and spooky and I hate it. Wow. wow. This way. No. Which way does it want me to go? Paint gun. Desk. I already have a jail key. I don't think I need two. Alrighty. Let's go down that creepy hallway. Okay. This is good and fun. This is fun. This is fun. Uh, invisible monsters trying to beat me in the head and smash my skull. Great time. Lots of... Uh, yes. I love it. Hello? Anybody home? Anybody out there? I hate this so much. Hello? 
Uh, friend? Oh no. That doesn't look good. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> I feel bad. Harlan's friend didn't make it, but that means Big Boy's still here, right? Where is Big Boy? I don't think Big Boy's here. Bone for low! Alright, so we can go back top side because we found Harlan's friend. Just don't want to let my guard down. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do this. You can target Nikin without Boone's perk. You can't fire and vats at them, though. Oh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. And that perk is only active while you've booned in your party, right? It's not like a permanent buff, or is it a permanent perk? <laughs> Are you enjoying New Vegas buff? I, I'm real. I promise I am enjoying it. I'm just a big scary cat. All right, now I have to find my way back to. <sighs> For a second, those boards had like the shape of a person, and I was gonna lose my mind. Okay, yeah, you need them in your party. That makes sense. Thank you for the stretches. Let me go find our pal. This way. Krusty, hello! Sorry, I'm super lost. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Please feel free to let me know how stream went. If you gotta go do post-stream care, no worries. Welcome, welcome. I'm playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time. Please, no spoilers. Um, we're currently in the RefCon facility. Um, and a ghoul wanted us to help him find his friend, and we did find his friend, but tragically, that friend, uh, missed Ed. So, now we have to help a bunch of religious cultists ascend? Question mark? Did you find my friend? Yeah, unfortunately. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. Aww. All right. You did your part. So I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. You don't... Can we hang out? Or is he just gonna skadoodle? I don't want him to die. So I don't want him to, like, leave. Oh, God, Heartland, please. Oh. <gasps> Harland! Uh, buddy, you're scaring the bajoobers out of me. Is there anything worth looking for up here? Oh, there's a terminal. Shipment mistake? To Robco from Bill. First off, let me say everyone here. Oh, we know we already saw this. Yeah. Um, workplace misbehavior. To all Repcon staff from Daniel Human Resources. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace workplace behavior policies. While it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. Why do I think the custodian used the invisibility thing to harass someone? To Robco from Sanjeev, Repcon custodian. We are sending back two crates of devices labeled Stealth Boys back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contained one gross, 144 of the devices. As a result of employee misbehavior, not mine, one of the crates we opened is missing five Stealth Boys. Sorry about that. Yeah, I called it. All right, cool. So that explains that. Um, I don't think there's really anything up here, is there? From the looks of it, it's just like a spooky facility. I think I'm good to leave. Eh, I don't feel like looking for ammo boxes. Am I real? Gonna be 100%? I'm lazy. So now if I go top side... Davison? You have a name. So 
So I'm gonna give Davis in here the benefit of the doubt because he hasn't shot me yet. Antler says you are the one killing my Ken. Antler says you must die. Oh, okay, never mind. We're not friends. We're not friends. He talks, but we're not friends. Cool. Oh, shoot. Davison got lots of armor. Ooh, 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 boon, 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 please. I didn't mean to attack Boon. I did not mean to attack Boon. Oh my god, Davison, you suck. Oh god. Oh, thank you, Boon. Ah. Had you not killed all night, Kenny would have talked. Well, I, I, they attacked me. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do about that? <sighs> oh, I think I went the wrong way when I was exploring this place. Oh man, what would have the solution been? Oh, am I like coming off drugs or something? You need to heal real quick. Oh, what the hell? What? Yeah, I left the grenade behind. I chose to do that. Oh, because my head was crippled. That makes sense. Um, Davison was looking for a stealth boy stash mentioned in those emails. You can access the terminal, show him what he's looking for is in here and he leaves peacefully. Oh, that's cool. The only thing is though, those guys are bad news bears. I don't know if I necessarily want them running around the wasteland, you know? Why is this under the facility? This is all very suspicious. I should probably go topside, but... Like, I should go tell what's-his-face that I've gotten down here, but... Um... I want to know what's down here before I bring a religious leader here, you know what I mean? Uh, what the hell? What were they doing at this facility? Hello? What? So... These ghouls want to launch themselves into space? Is that what we're looking at here? I think that's what we're looking at here. Okay, well... Uh... Okay. Sure. Oh, you can wear a spacesuit? That's funny. Um. <laughs> Ghouls in space. Oh, there's a little way out. Where does this take me? All right, cool. Let me go all the way back up. <laughs> Space ghouls coming to you this summer. <laughs> The far beyond would be space, wouldn't it? All right, well. Them commie ghosts want to ride the rockets and paint the moon pink with lemon space on it. <laughs> oh, your game broke? That sucks. I'm so sorry. I hope that doesn't happen to me because that would suck. 
Yeah, no bark was right. That was not on my bingo board. Like, I knew it was a rocket testing facility, but I thought maybe there was some kind of radiation problem in the basement. Um... God, I thought the steam was an invisible guy, but it was just steam. How do I get out of here? This way. Man, yeah, I just went the wrong way. Oh, well. I don't really want to be friends with night... Nightkin? Because they're scary. The door out was... This way? No, up, 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 up. Yeah, I think that's interesting. No Bark's ranting does have a pinch of truth in it. It's pretty funny how that works out, huh? Up, 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 up. Hello? Mr. Radiation Man. Whoa. Yes. Oh, hey, it's Harland. You did good, Smooth Skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Wait, well, <sighs> I'm glad to help you, Harland. You seem nice. Hey, mister. Is the way clear? What do you mean I haven't dealt with the demons yet? Y'all. I... What does it mean I haven't dealt with them yet? Uh, did I miss some? God dang it. Are you joking me? <sighs> Frick. Where are they? That I missed them. God dang it. I thought I explored the whole ding ding thing. Uh. No, that makes sense that I have to kill them all. I'm just salty about it. All right. Fine. I'll just stop sneaking around, I guess. So they hear me barreling through. Because this is the way... Dead body there. That was the way to Davison. That's the way to Harland. Um... Nope. I really wish that would just target things that are hostile and not Boone. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh god! There he is, there he is, there he is. I found him. Found him, found him, found him, found him. Can't run from me. Oh, I have enough ammo! Shoot! I need a different gun. Oh dang Narbit. Alright, uh buh, buh, buh. You want ammo? I should have paid attention to that. Um, cool. I think that was the last of them because now I'm getting a little like icon again. Let me double check. Yep, cool. I just had to hunt down that one jerk. Oh god. Well, I'm glad that was easily resolved. Okay. Way out is this way. Armpit's the one true weakness. <laughs> God, I love not having a sprint button. Also, it's a shame that stuff with Harlan got cut, but didn't this game have a dev period of like nine months? That is insane. That's like, that's unhealthy. Um, so it makes sense that there was going to be cut content. You know what I mean? Honestly, I kind of assumed Harland would be a, um, follower. 18? Why did I hear 9? I was going to say that's just, like, impossible. 
Hello, Mr. Glowy Man. Hello. Is the way clear? Demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, one. All right, I'll go with you. Am I gonna have to help this man launch a rocket? They did have like 90% of the model assets. That's true. Oh, he's wearing a spacesuit. That's funny. Yeah, so they had all the assets, but they still had to like write the story, get the voice acting, try and patch as many bugs as possible, make all the environments and the map and what have you. It's the Majora's Mask to Fallout 3's Ocarina of Time. Shorter dev cycle, reused assets, better game. Ah, uh, wait, what do you mean about Majora's Mask? I don't know much about the Legend of Zelda franchise, y'all. I uh, have only played three Legend of Zelda games. Stairs. I'm very grateful for that ladder now, because going all the way back down here would suck. Jump. Jump. Man, it's a shame this isn't Oblivion, where jumping levels a skill for you. <laughs> In Elder Scrolls Floor Oblivion, um, acrobatics, jumping, is its own skill. And so the more you jump, the more it levels, and the higher you jump without taking damage. It's very silly. Majority used assets in Ocarina to cut down production time. I never knew that. Hello. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the great journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanda. Is that comfy Your cat boy? Blessing. We will remember you always. Is that the comfiest of cat boys raiding me? Hello, Raiders. Sorry, I haven't played this game before, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Hello, how is stream? Welcome in, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time. And yes, I'm running stream later than usual. I like this game a lot. <laughs> uh... If you gotta go do post stream care comfy, please don't worry about it. I hope you had fun. Uh, so currently, to catch you all up to speed, we found a bunch of undead zombie people who want to send themselves to space. Thank you so much for the follow forest. Go have a good one. We watched like seven Darman clone channels. There's at least seven. I have a serious question. Quick sidebar: Where do these people get the money to do all these productions? Because you need to get actors, you need to get writers, you need to get music, you need to get editors, you need to get costumers, you need to get makeup, you need to get sets. Like, even if you're trying to do it cheap, how do all of these people have the money to make Darman clones? I don't, like... These ones were way lower budget. Still, though, even if you were doing this literally out of your own bedroom, you still have to, like, do... I just... That's wild. Man... <laughs> Isabel, thank you for the follow. Um, all right, let's talk about Chris. After all that you have, when Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. Hold on. Okay, so to keep you all up to speed. So everyone here in this little faction are undead, except there's this one guy named Chris, who's straight up just a guy who thinks he's undead. 
And without his expertise, they're not getting these rockets into space, which they think will give them eternal salvation. But they're not letting him join them? That's so mean. That's so mean. That's so messed up. Also, yeah, comfy. Like, they have to get some kind of investment capital, right? Because there's no way. Like, clearly those content farms will make money, but they still have to get money. For I would love to see some investigative journalist look into that. Oh, because he'll... Oh, that's true. He will die. So you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the creator's will. Vision upon vision has yeah. shown you that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. So is space full of radiation? It's none of my business. I'm not getting involved. Because he's not wrong. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Okay. There is no way. So where is Chris? Chris! Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. All right, uh, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. So I gotta go into a radioactive place to get this stuff? Uh, uh I'll track down, uh... Okay. Hold on, where did Jason go? Jason! Jason! What the hell? Uh... Sir? Jason? Uh... I guess he... Okay, goodbye, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Yeah, so I understand what you mean, like, space has radiation. I meant, like... I assumed because of the game that, like, space was, like, super radiation-ified or something. Is this now a marker? Can I, like, fast travel here? No, but I do know it's here. All right, how do I get here? From the test site, so I know. Cool, it's around the bend. Okie dokie. I don't feel like hunting that junk down. Um, It'll be interesting to see if that's enough for Manny. <laughs> um, So I'm gonna have to talk to Manny and see if it'll be like, hey, I figured it out, but I don't know if he'll be happy until the ghouls are like off the planet so we'll have to find out <gasps> yeah i think uh jason just wrapped himself between space and time yes homeboy has ascended in ways we never will <laughs> thank you all so much for hanging with me today while i play more fallout new vegas i will be back again tomorrow so if you want to join me for that check it out but thank you all so much